Thank you for being part of CFA's Grassland Curing Network. This is really important information. Your observations go to calculation of fire danger ratings, which then are used to provide information and warnings to all Victorians. Here we are in the State Control Centre and we're going to look at some examples of how we use grassland curing observations in an operational context. The grassland curing data is used to inform our warnings to the community and the public, to predict the rate of spread of fires when they actually occur, to compare the risk across the state and to use it as a basis for allocating scarce resources in the most important location. Let's look at one example of a fire that burned from Mickleham up to Kilmore. This fire burnt about 22,000 hectares. It burned for five days. This is the grassland curing map, which we used on the day of the fire. It's based on your observations coming in from the field, but also satellite data. The grassland curing maps used in a number of different ways and formats for our operations. The forecast fire danger rating map used on the day of the fire was based partially on the curing observations that you sent in, but we also look at forest fuel dryness, relative humidity, temperature and wind speed. Both of these maps were used in preparing for the day that the Midland Road fire took off. Here in Predictive Services we use grassland curing to estimate fire behaviour. Here's an estimate that we produced in the morning of the fire. It shows where rapid fire spread was likely around midday. When the fire started we predicted where and when it would burn and this information was pushed out to the State Fire Control Team and the Emergency Management Team. Grassland curing was essential for these predictions. In the public information section we issued warnings to people in the area of impact. We publish the warnings through this system, which distributes the warnings through the internet, emergency broadcasters, the Fire Ready app and social media. At 12.01 the fire was reported. The first Watch and Act warning went out to the public 14 minutes later at 12.15. Your contributions helped to make this happen. This DVD provides a snapshot of how to accurately undertake grassland curing observations. It will then lead to more accurate fire danger ratings. Thank you again for what you do. It's very important work and I hope you enjoy the DVD.